This is a Sony camcorder, but it's not an ordinary camcorder because it's also an action cam. So it is a two in one device. And I think these were really interesting products because you could have an action cam and a camcorder in one. But Sony sadly stopped making action cams and camcorders. So how is it using one in 2024? I think the design of these action cams is really nice and it's unlike any other action camera. Instead of having a normal box shaped design, it is a bit of a longer camera. So the grip is definitely different compared to your normal action camera, but I really like it. And normally you could just buy the action cam, but there was also this accessory which was called the AKA LU1. And this is the camcorder accessory. The action cam has a special port on the bottom, which means that it can interact with the screen. So you just have to get the case and open it, make sure your camera isn't locked, and then you can just put it in there. And now you have a tiny camcorder. And this case was meant for the HDR AS15, but this newer model also works on here. But now when you power on your camera, you can have a screen where you can watch your videos on. And you can have a live preview of your camera. But sadly my screen got water damage, so now it doesn't work properly anymore. And you have a basic start stop record button, but because it's an action camera with a fixed lens, there is no zoom rocker. The menu system is still the action cam menu system. So you won't be able to change your settings on here. So if you want to take a photo, you just go to the photo mode and then it would work. And here you can also change all your resolutions and frame rates. And it also has the playback controls on here. But other than that, it is a really basic case. But the nice thing about this case is when you get a high angle shot, you can still see the screen or a low angle and you can also use it for vlogging, which is great because the screen is so big. And then if you want something that is more compact, you can just get it out of the case. But because it has a wide angle fixed lens, that also means that when you have it in the case, it still has a fish eye effect and there is no way to zoom. And of course it has a camera mounting port. And this is the Sony HDR AS 200 V which can shoot in up to 1080p at 50 FPS in XAVC S format. And of course this thing is almost 10 years old, so the video quality of it isn't anything amazing today, but you can still get some decent results. The nice thing is also that you can set a flat color profile instead of the vivid one. And this camera doesn't have any over sharpening effects to it, which is something that I really like. And it has built in digital image stabilization, which for the time was great, but nowadays it's definitely nothing amazing. Unlike this case, which I broke because of the water, the action cam is splash proof. Sadly, this model doesn't support 4K, but it does have a Zeiss lens and stereo microphones that actually sound pretty good. So no need to attach an external microphone. But if you do want to do that on this thing, then there is actually a port for that, which action cams these days don't have anymore, sadly. And the build quality of these things are decent. However, they aren't extremely rugged. I actually broke one of my other Sony action cams just by dropping it. So when you put them in the waterproof case, then they are durable, but without them, they are kind of fragile. And the image stabilization helps you to get rid of most of the shakes, but it won't be gimbal-like footage. And it has a nice wide lens, so for vlogging it's great, because it captures everything around you with a good microphone and good stabilization. And I like the flat color profile, but again, the image quality isn't up to 2024 standards. Because the dynamic range isn't amazing, it isn't extremely sharp, but the low light for an action camera is actually pretty good, because it has a backside illuminated sensor, so when it gets darker, you can still get some nice results. And I think this idea of being able to turn your action cam in a camcorder was really cool. And I hope that Sony will make action cams and camcorders again. Because they were really cool little cameras that you could carry around everywhere with decent audio quality and stabilization. And they also had an option for smaller file sizes. So what do you think of this action camera? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.